I am quite surprised that not many of us are talking about this new amazing model by Alibaba. Introducing Quen 1.5. Quen 1.5 is the next iteration of the Quen series. It's quite close to GPT-4 on performance and tool use. This is a model that exhibits superior performance, surpassing Claude 2.1, as well as GPT-3.5 Turbo on both the MT Bench as well as the Paca evaluation. It's completely open source and it comes in various sizes ranging from 0.5 billion parameter to all the way to 72 billion parameters. There is six model sizes and each of them perform quite well in various categories. For example, the 0.5 billion model is exceptional at function calling. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, just take a look at this demo video, which is showcasing how you can use the Quen 0.5 billion model, which is showcasing its capabilities at function calling. It has a pass rate of 77% on the Fireworks AI function calling evaluation data set, which is quite exceptional for its model size. Now, in this example, Quen 0.5 is allowing itself to call external functions or APIs based on the user input, and it's representing to ask itself to suggest some movies and in this case you can see that there's various sorts of arguments as well as different names that it wants to basically focus on calling there's various things so in this case one example was suggesting to find movies related to space exploration and the model does a quick job at searching through various apis and external sources to compile the best sources to fulfill your user query there's various examples so definitely take a look at this video which i'll leave a link to in the description below which gives you a good idea as to how it operates Quen 1.5 is truly an exceptional advanced large language model that is completely open source. Really surprised that not a lot of people know about this, but hopefully with this video, I am able to push the use case of this large language model. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be exploring Quen 1.5 further in detail, showcase its performance against other models, and lastly, end off the video with an installation guide so that you can get started with this. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Quen 1.5, which is the latest iteration of the Quen series. It was just recently released a couple days ago on February 4th, and it's a significant update focusing on both model quality as well as developer experience. Now, this is a release that includes open source base models as well as chat models in six sizes, ranging from 0.5 billion all the way to 72 billion. Now, this is something that is quantized model, which is like the Intel 4, Intel 8, GPTQ, as well as the AWQ, as well as GGUF, and they're all provided with different optimization. One thing I want to note is that since 2023 of August, Quen, which is Alibaba, they've been focusing quite well on developing the latest AI models, and they've been doing a great job over the past couple of months releasing these models, and we have came to a point where they have developed more variations and they focused on updating the model's quality further and this is something that we're going to take a look at as we go exploring the model a little bit more in depth with the demos now let's actually take a look at the performance that is evaluating this quen 1.5 model across various capabilities including language understanding coding reasoning human preference and such forth now if we are to take a look at this on basic categories or capabilities we can see that for language understanding and other basic categories quen 1.5 was able to actually show quite a strong performance across traditional benchmarks like the mmlu you have 
the C evaluation, human eval, as well as many others. And we can see that it does quite well in comparison to all of these other models. Obviously, it's not going to surpass GPT-4 as an open source model, but it's quite good in comparison, or I would say it's getting to a point where it can be on par with GPT-4. And we can see that it even beats GPT-4 on CML, MMLU, which is Chinese language. And we can see in other categories, it does a great job in trying its best to be on par with GPT-4. Whereas if you are to compare it with Llama, for example, it does a better job in most metrics, which is great to see. Now, if we go down a little bit more, we can see that for the smaller model sizes, specifically the Quen 1.5, uh, 0 0.5 models it does quite well in comparison to other tinier models like gemini nano as well as tiny llama and what's great to me is that this tiny model of quen 1.5 which is the 0 0.5 million parameter model does a great job for its parameter size and it's something that has been able to perform really well against even 7 billion parameter models so if you're actually interested you can get started with playing around with the Quen 1.5 72 billion chat model. And this is where you can ask it various things. And in this case, I have it as a helpful assistant. And I asked it this prompt where I told it to basically create me a basic card game in Python. And it does a great job in formulating this. And it gives me a response as to how you can play it. You can do various things in various categories like math, understanding reasoning and such forth so if you're interested in that take a look at the spaces link which will give you a better feel as to why you should use it or if it would bring any sort of benefit for you to actually use it now let's take a look at aligning with human preference now what aligning with human preference basically means is that it's making sure that the responses generated by the quen model is closely matching what we would actually prefer as humans or we would actually expect from the model. To basically achieve this, they use techniques like direct policy optimization as well as proximal policy optimization. And this is where they developed the Quen series models. If you take a look at this, it evaluated the quality of the chat model and we can see that it could be quite tricky to actually assess the model, but they use two common benchmarks. Firstly, they use the MT bench, versus the alpaca evaluation performance. And they were basically able to do this with an advanced language model as judge. Now, despite not actually quite reaching the performance as GPT-4 Turbo, which we can see in this chart, it was able to quite do quite well against Yi 34 billion. You can see that it did quite well in comparison to Mistral, as well as many others that are over here on this chart. It's quite worthwhile to take a look at this because it gives you a little bit more of an idea as to what you would actually use this for in comparison to other models. Now, I truly recommend that you go through this blog post and I'll leave this link in the description below so that you can access it. But you can see that there's a lot more information describing how they developed this model, talking a little bit more about the data set and evaluation metrics. So if you're interested in all of that, take a look at the link in the description below where I'll leave it. Now, lastly, I'm going to focus on how you can actually install this. So with that thought, let's get started with that. Now, for the people who are interested in installing the Quen 1.5 model locally, you should definitely go with the LM Studio method. This is where you can easily run any sort of open source model locally, and it's super easy to get started with, and I'll leave this link in the description below so you can install it fairly easily. So once you have LM Studio installed, what you want to do is simply open it up. Now, once you have it opened up, I'm going to leave a link to the Quen 1.5 model cards. Uh, this is where you can select whatever model that you want to install. In this case, I would recommend you go with the GGUF model, and that's depending on what model size you want. So you can download the 14 billion parameter model size. You can download the 1.8 billion or even the 0 0.5 billion. Now, once you have selected the model that you want, you can simply just go on the model card. You can then go over here copy the model card and once you have copied it you can then go onto lm studio once you are over here paste this model card in click enter and then you're going to be able to install it super quickly by simply just clicking on the download button over here once you have downloaded it you can then go to the conversation tab and this is where you can then select the model that you want to load load up the quinn model that you just recently downloaded and you can start chatting with it adjusting the parameters and such forth so that's as easy as 
how you can install a model locally on your desktop. And that's basically it for the installation method to have Quen 1.5 installed locally. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value out of it. I truly wanted to put Spotlight on this model because it's quite exceptional in terms of its performance as an open source model. Now, I truly recommend you check it out because it will be helpful for a lot of us as they do offer a lot of different variations in terms of its model size. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. There's a lot more information on their GitHub as well as their blog posts. So I'll leave a link to all of these links that I used in today's video in the description below. But with that thought, guys, make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private Discord. You can get consulting, you can get networking opportunities, subscriptions to AI tools. And I have actually included a clip of what you can access in the start of this video. So if you're interested in that, take a look at that so you get a better idea as to what you can do with this Patreon. Now, if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, truly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos as there is a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from. So definitely take a look at this. And with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity. And with that thought guys, see you guys next time. Peace out fellas.